in this video i'm going to teach you the four things you got to do before your divorce is done right now probably you're going through a mutual divorce the first decree is over first signing of the papers is over the things are sorted out you have decided that uh, because your wife wants a divorce you have decided that okay i'm going to give divorce and then you're given six months of cooling period and after that your final divorce so many men ask me this question what do i what do i do in these six months to save my marriage to bring back love and that's the question i'm going to answer in this particular video hi coach val here and i help men to revive their love and their love story i help men to create the marriage of their dreams in this particular video this video is dedicated to all those men who are going through a divorce process right now it is a mutual divorce your wife has said that this is it i don't want to be in this marriage and finally you had no other option you tried everything you begged her you pleaded her you asked for forgiveness you sent long letters emails um you tried through your friends you have tried through your relatives you have gone for a family meeting everything is done but nothing has worked out and now you are at a place where you feel that there is no other way and you have said okay let's go for it so the first decree is done and now you are waiting for the second decree probably you have another 2 months 3 months 4 months whatever the time that you have what do you do during that period so let us get into the mind map and understand what you can do the first thing is ask yourself what do you want what do you want this is a very important question to ask yourself there is a um, uh, those of you who have read this alice in wonderland and she is going through this hole and uh, she is meeting this i think it is the cat and uh, there are two roads and uh, she is at this cross roads and uh, she is asking this cat where does these roads go and the cat says where do you want to go and alice says i don't know and the cat responds saying that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where these roads go so the question to ask yourself is what what do you want right now you could be angry at your wife you could be upset at your wife you could be feeling that i married the wrong person and because of these feelings you could be feeling that i want to get out of this relationship and then i'll find that perfect one somewhere and let me give you the bad news let me be the messenger of bad news there's no perfect one there's no perfect one every person you marry feels that she is the perfect one but after marriage if you do not um do not take care of things the perfect turns into the worst thing it is like you going around and looking for a perfect lawn you want to um have this perfect lawn so you look for a perfect lawn beautiful grass everything is perfect you buy that lawn now if you don't water that lawn what what happens it goes worse the the the, the grass dries up now the same with marriage if you don't know how to take care of relationships the relationship dies so it is you got to learn relationship science it's same like if you're if you're going to have the garden or the lawn you got to know gardening so you got to ask yourself what do i want is it that i want a happy relationship i want happy life and if it is then the next three things will help you but if you want to somebody like so many men in the world uh want to get out of this relationship get into a new one repeat the same mistake uh the end comes very very soon and then you get out of that relationship move to the next one and after about five marriages after about after having three four kids you want to realize that if you, one of them one marriage doesn't work then the subsequent ones might not work so if that's the case then you can go ahead and you don't have to watch this video so i believe that you are somebody wants to learn so if you are somebody who wants to um who is very clear that he wants to be with this woman 
then let's go to the next three points the next point is don't try to save your marriage now this is an irony like if you might tell me well you know um i'm following you on youtube i'm following you on uh, like i bought your program i'm part of the awesome marriage coaching program i'm at the diamond level or i'm at the silver level or gold level whatever level you are you might be saying that i have joined this program to save my marriage to save my marriage and you are saying that don't try to save your marriage that's right don't try to save your marriage why because more you try to save your marriage more she wants to leave so i want you to understand this analogy when your wife is saying i want divorce what she is trying to tell you is that she is not trying to tell you that i don't want this marriage what she is trying to tell you is that this marriage has become very painful and she doesn't want to go through it it's like uh, if your tooth decays you have cavity in your tooth what are you trying to say it's not that you don't want to save this tooth it means that the cavity is so much and you have tried to do everything possible to fix it and it's not able to, you're not able to fix it now you want to get rid of that tooth not because you don't want it it's because the pain is excruciating so the second thing to understand uh, the next thing to understand is that your wife wants this marriage but she doesn't want the pain now for you to understand who created this pain is it you because your wife is saying that you are doing this you did that you did whatever and that's why i'm leaving you but did you create this pain the answer is no what created the pain is the power struggle and why in power struggle you the pain was created it is because both of you didn't know relationship signs you didn't know how to get out of the power struggle and more you are in the power struggle more pain you will experience so the second thing is don't try to save your marriage then what do you do what you need to do is let's come here what you need to do is you got to start again i often use this and uh, saying i say that your first marriage if you're going through a divorce process then your first marriage is over long time ago your marriage is over long time ago this is just a formality it's like getting married wedding is just a formality you're already wedded at heart that's what happens whether it is an arranged marriage at least in the 21st century in the present world that's what happens you are already married your hearts are married this is just a formality wedding is just a formality to show to the world that okay uh, we are just showing that our hearts are married we are together that's all the formality same way the divorce is just a formality the divorce happens much before the formality that is signing of the papers so you got to understand that your first marriage is over with this person now it is time to start the second marriage and your second marriage with the same person has to be a love marriage it cannot be an arranged marriage and that's where many a times we go wrong we think in arranged marriage terms and we say to ourselves that how the arranged marriage happened i look for a girl on shadi.com i like this girl i sent her a message probably that profile was put up by her mother the mother saw my profile she agreed to it she discussed we met and we decided and then we started talking and then we got married now that's an arranged marriage but after separation after going through a divorce you cannot follow the same process you can't go with your parents to a house and have a long discussion on whether you guys have to be together or not because love is not human beings don't fall in love like that you don't decide to fall in love love just happens in the right atmosphere in the right environment so what you need to do is you got to start all over again and look at your wife not as your wife but as your girlfriend and you want this woman to fall in love with you that's it just like think about it if it was a love marriage you want this woman to fall in love with you what do you do you don't go to a house and have a long discussion on marriage but she doesn't even know you imagine that she doesn't even trust you so the same way here you got to look at your wife as your girlfriend and you want to start all over again so think about it in these terms the third thing is that's the third thing and the last thing is 
think beyond think beyond what do i mean by think beyond think beyond the divorce many times men tell me that i got 4 months uh, to save my marriage think about it this way your marriage is already over this is just a formality and now if this is a formality and you are starting all over again how much time do you have 4 months 4 years 40 years you got eternity you got eternity to bring back love bring back connection so don't put a deadline saying to yourself that you got 4 months to save your marriage that's correct but you got an eternity to get married to your wife once again so don't ever think that as soon as the divorce papers are done uh, the relationship between us has ended it has not it has not because the logics let's use the logic as soon as you um, get married you get married have a wedding it not that your wedding has started either it, it starts before the wedding your marriage starts before the wedding or it starts after the wedding because wedding marriage is uh, about the hearts so you focus on your marriage focus on your relationship focus on your connection and the love will come back the understanding will come back once again you will start falling in love with each other and how do you do that it's by focusing on the experiences even if you're divorced on paper you'll find yourself married at the heart level your wife will feel more and more closer to you compared to before marriage we have men in our community who are going through who are legally divorced but they often tell me that we have an amazing kind of a relationship right now we are much more close to each other the way we connect the way we understand the way we say sorry we are like the relationship is amazing i never had this experience in the 10 years of my marriage where i was legally married today i have that experience why because this man did not focus on saving his marriage he focused on getting married to his wife once again so what's the goal don't focus on divorce don't focus on saving your marriage focus on getting married to your wife once again and uh, one of the lawyer friends told me this beautiful thing i asked him now how difficult it is to get married to your wife once again let's say we are divorced how difficult is it and he said you know it's as easy as you uh, getting divorced at one table you are signing the divorce papers and on the other table you can sign the marriage papers there is no law in the world which will stop you and for some reason we men think that uh, i want i'm going to spend money on saving my marriage i'm going to spend money on lawyers to save my marriage don't save your marriage why are you saving it it's very easy to to get married again if your wife is willing by trying to saving your marriage you are pushing your wife away by focusing on connection love and learning relationship science you can bring your wife closer to you and if you are somebody who wants to learn more about relationship science if you are somebody who wants to understand at a deeper level then i invite you to attend my free master class you'll see the link out here it is coachval.co very easy to remember i'll give it in the description and in the comment section go there and attend my master class and if you have liked this video so far please click on that like button if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead subscribe to this channel make sure that you uh, click on that bell icon so that every time i put up a video you know it first and if there is somebody who is going through a similar challenge right now please share this video with him and finally please go to the comment section and write down one thing that you have learned it's not that you might be going through a divorce process right now nevertheless you have learned something about relationship science please go ahead uh, write that in the comment section and in the next video i'm going to teach you what to do if your wife's parents are interfering in your marriage as soon as this video ends at the end cards you'll find right on the top on the right right hand side this particular video go to that video and learn what to do when your wife's parents are interfering in your marriage that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video and until then as always keep your love story alive bye bye